Our commitment has always been to listen, to understand what you want, to enrich your lives and connect you to the experience that you care about. Now, as president of Samsung's mobile division, I feel a deep responsibility to hundreds of millions of people around the world. Because my brother was diagnosed with a brain tumor, uh, glial carcinoma from the same side of the head he uses his cell phone, and his uh, brain surgeon is totally convinced that it's caused. He's he's got so much pa patients coming in now that with brain tumors on the same side of the head that they use their cell phone is just obvious to him. And Wheeler's lying. Americans are dying. Wheeler's lying. Americans are dying. Wheeler's lying. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Tom Wheeler. Thank you very much, John. Oh, I was hoping you would leave that gavel behind. <laughs> How many people have to die from brain cancer before the federal government puts warning labels on cell phones? How many people, how many young ladies have to die from breast cancer because there's no warnings and they don't know and they're keeping it in their bra? How many people have to get electro-hypersensitive from the smart grid and have to be driven from their communities? How many? How many does it take? A million? If you enjoy buying your, your position from Obama, how much do you pay? A million? People dying? Is that just collateral damage? Collateral damage? How many people have to die? Promise! God is great to be. <laughs> Tom, you delivered a million dollar bribe to the Obama administration, which led to your appointment. We're going to move you represented the industry for 12 years, and that's all you're going to represent from here on out. You will not represent the public. You will only represent the corporations. And I will not stop until I leave this Your exposure stands I'm going to ask you uh, You know, it's just phone safety law that's meant to bring attention to those fine print warnings that often go overlooked. There is opposition, but Berkeley city leaders tonight said they're ready to defend the ordinance. KTV's Amber Lee is live now in Berkeley to tell us about the support and opposition. Amber. 
Chile, it was unanimous. The city council voted nine to zero to pass what's called the right to know ordinance. Supporters say it's designed to protect the public. Advocates for the ordinance say most people don't know that cell phones already come with a warning about the potential dangers of cell phone use. Go to seven, <laughs> then down to general. It takes five steps before you can reach the warning contained in iPhones. My husband was diagnosed with a brain tumor in 2008. Out of the blue, he had a grand mal seizure. Ellie Mark says her husband was a heavy cell phone user. She says she started doing research and soon found data from various countries about the dangers of cell phone use. It should never be in a pocket, it should not be in a bra, it should not be directly against the skin. The ordinance requires stores such as Berkeley's Complete Entertainment Exchange to give consumers a flyer, which would say in part, quote, if you carry your phone in a pocket or tucked into clothing directly against your body when the phone is on and connected to a wireless network, you may be exposed to RF levels that exceed federal guidelines. I don't John Coates, founder of RF Safe, a wireless safety education center in Florida, writes, CDMA and GSM frequencies used for 2G in this study is now nearly obsolete. Current research on 3G and 4G suggests these technologies, in spite of their lower power densities, might be riskier than 2G. Well, the most important thing is that we're holding it away, that we're using the speaker as often as possible, and we're discouraging our teenage daughters from sticking it in their bra. The further away you can keep this radiation from yourself, the better.